surreal. It's so beautiful. This is our West Coast forest. Oh my God. I mean, I've seen it in pictures and videos and stuff, but damn. So can I ask you about Reishi? Sure. I love this one. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I saved it for last. <laughs> your audience doesn't know this, but, um, you know, I have a 21 year old daughter named Reishi. So I've been loving this mushroom for at least 21 years, but no, the idea behind Reishi is, is that it is a grounding adaptogen that really calms down our body. The Chinese believe in something called the three treasures, which is Qi is your energy flow. Uh, Jing is your battery or the ancestral chi you come into life from with your parents or from your parents. And then Xian is the spirit or the glow you emit. Reishi is considered a Xian tonic, so a spirit tonic to enhance your vibrancy and glow. It's also considered a herb of immortality or mushroom of spiritual potency or just a meditation in a bottle. There's so many like fame lines around this mushroom because it was, you know, 4,000 years of history using this mushroom to help calm down the shen and brighten the spirit, right? To enhance longevity. Now, when we look at the science, this mushroom has been studied like crazy. Now, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars spent on lab studies, clinical trials, all this stuff, not just the 4,000 years of anecdotal history, but we're looking at over 400 types of polysaccharides. And polysaccharides are like a giant sugar molecule that is uh, similar to like a whole coliseum of sugar. Like there's thousands and thousands of sugars. It's all about the, straight, the structure and shape of the sugar. That's what acts as an immunomodulant. So it enhances your immune system's ability to tell whether you're low or high and bring you back to balance, like college education for the immune system. It has over 400 of these different types of polysaccharides. To me, what that says is, whoa, here's a mushroom of high intelligence that is a true adaptogen to really help you become the adaptogen to your own health stuff. So as you go through the aging process, and you know, even though I was at the Reishi Museum when I was in China, I saw that. And it's it pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But like one of the like areas was the emperor was trying to find Soma. And I'm sure because you work with Amanita Don't and the whole Soma. <laughs> well, they believed that Soma was actually mercury with this red mushroom. Maybe Amanita, but they really thought because actually one thing that Reishi can do is help protect against radiation toxicity and heavy metal toxicity. So there's a belief in China that Reishi is the other missing active ingredient in the Soma elixir. So, you know, we could debate on Amanitas or Reishis, that would be but fantastic. you know, oh uh, according to the Chinese, you know, they, they get one vote for Reishi being that, I, that immortal that. elixir, right? So that's yeah. one side. You know, this is also an antibacterial, antiviral, antipathogenic mushroom in general. So it helps things from going bad. It protects you from all kinds of pathogens in the environment. It also, because it has that calming grounding effect, it's really good for things like anxiety or ADD or insomnia, right? Just calm down the mind. It's really good for calming down the heart and the breath. So cholesterol and heart palpitation issues and high blood pressure, but also lung issues like um, anxiety breathing or asthma or allergies, right? So just this, that's Reishi. Yeah. It's my second favorite. I take them both every day. Here you go. Well, protect the academic from their own brain and <laughs> enhance your cognitive function with reishi and lion's mane. You're so fantastic. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much for being here, for teaching everybody. This is stuff I want to talk about, but I don't feel nearly educated enough. So like, you got this. This uh, is great. But you know, there are no experts in life, right? We are all just fools in the wind trying to make our way through. So. Just like you, I dabble and I'm learning along the way. And I would invite you to share in the comments or in any of this feedback. What is your experience? These are mushrooms that are popular. These are things you probably have lots of experience with. So share with us, right? What, what it is that you like to do with or how you like to, or what is your favorite medicinal mushroom? Thanks so much. All right. So what I want to ask of you guys is run over to the Herbal Jedi, say hi. <laughs> and then if you want to get involved in this channel, then you can go to Patreon. We do live Zoom meetings. And if you want to just buy me a coffee, I could use the caffeine, man. I love <laughs> you, beautiful people. Thanks. All right. Later. So here's how spirit works. We were doing a video on reishi and lion's mane, walking through the forest, and lo and behold, this reishi mushroom had fallen off the tree, literally on the ground, waiting for us to connect with. This is our West Coast reishi. 
our local analog here in the Pacific Northwest to the reishi of the Orient, the one we were talking about earlier. So I want to give you this reishi and may the forest be with you because it sounds like it is already. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So this is uh, this year's reishi. These are some of the last year's reishi. And you can tell obviously by the different color. This is an annual mushroom. Identical 